If the numbers of antibiotic resistant bacterial infections keep on increasing and there are no new treatments, the huge medical advances that we've seen in the last 25 years just will not be able to continue. In the short term, what it means for you and I is that it will take longer to treat an infection until they finally find an effective drug. If we don't do anything about this crisis, by 2050, millions of people will die, more than from cancer or road traffic accidents. Are you afraid of what a future would mean for you, your family or your friends without antibiotics? Well, you're not alone, I'm concerned as well. And this is why the British Society for Antimicrobial Chemotherapy set up the public awareness initiative, Antibiotic Action, of which I'm director. Antibacterial drugs, or as they're more commonly known, antibiotics, are drugs that will either stop bacteria growing or kill them. They're used very widely, but we know them best for use in human medicine. In fact, they're so important, most medical practices now in the 21st century rely on these drugs. The problem these days is that we've used antibiotics so widely in people, animals, at home in our kitchens, that in fact there's increasing numbers of bacteria that are able to withstand antibiotics. The increasing numbers of resistant bacteria throughout the world isn't the only problem. There are very few new drugs being discovered or made. There is so much concern around the world about the antibiotic resistance crisis that in 2015 there will be the first World Antibiotic Awareness Week. There are many different activities going on in different countries, but they all include making everyone aware of how important antibiotics are and persuading people that antibiotics should only be needed if there's a bacterial infection that needs treating. If you want to know more about us, please take a look at all parts of our Antibiotic Action website. You may even want to become an Antibiotic Action champion. Only by working together can we reduce the numbers of antibiotic resistant bacteria that are around our hospitals and environment and by working together we can solve this antibiotic resistance crisis.